Hello folks, we're back with the next video in my series on Carista, the fantastic little OBD2 scanner and the accompanying app. Uh, we're in an Audi A1, the Gen 1 Audi A1. Uh, as I've said in the previous videos, what you can do is very much dependent on your car. This app can do all kinds of wonderful things in VW Audi Group cars, in BMWs, in one or two others. But to see if your vehicle is compatible, click the link in the video description and pinned as the top comment that takes you to the Carista site where you can check it out for yourself. It will actually tell you for your specific vehicle exactly what you will have access to and what you won't. Uh, so in this series so far, there is a playlist for this. So if you've missed any of them, go back and watch it. We've done a video on what the Carista is, how you set it up, the costs, all that kind of stuff. We've done another video on the servicing and the diagnostic section. So that took us through diagnosing faults with the car and basic service items in the car, things like resetting your service indicator, coding a new battery to the car, coding some parts to the car, um, resetting your tire pressure monitoring system, all sorts of things around that. And then in this video, we're gonna look at the customize option. Now this allows you in some cars to unlock hidden features. And some of it, it just gives you an extra level of customization that you don't find within the, the standard menus in your vehicle system, um, but they all will appear on your little mobile phone app here. So it can be very, very powerful. In some cars, you might find things like Bluetooth is built into the car, it's all sitting there, um, but it wasn't purchased as an option, so it's never been activated. So you could go in and activate it. You might find you've got electrically folded mirrors, but they don't do it automatically when you turn the car off. These are all the kinds of things that you might be able to do with this app. Again, check your vehicle details using that link and it will be able to tell you if uh, you'll be able to do that in your particular car. So customize, here we go. The first one's dings and warnings. Let's go into that. Um, seatbelt warning. So you can turn off your seatbelt warning. If you're someone that routinely drives around with a seatbelt, which I don't recommend by the way, uh, you can turn that off. Instrument displays and nav. Gauge needle sweep at startup. So that's something where uh, on VW group cars, if you want, when you start a car up, the needles will kind of go, Whoa. that's it. Serves no purpose other than it looks cool. Hidden green menu in the dash. So this is something you get on Audis. Uh, there is like an engineer's menu um, on the dash, which opens up a few extra features and a bit more extra data. Uh, that's disabled, but you can have that you can enable it when you press car and setup together all right we're not going to do that but you can multi-function display enabled you can turn that off refuel quantity in the display disabled fine we don't want to turn that on bluetooth functions in mmi enabled now in your car that might be disabled as standard and you could literally go on there enable it hit recode and it's done it will take 10 20 seconds to recode the ecu and it's done for you instrument language and units obviously this is all set up in british english because that's where we are the date format um, all that kind of stuff it's all fairly self-explanatory but you can say uh, change all that to your heart's content leaving home coming on lights uh, so this is something you get in a lot of vw group cars you turn the car off you get out and turn and lock the car and it leaves the lights on for 15, 10 seconds, whatever it is, um, so that you can find the keyhole to get your front door key in. As you can see, this is set up at the moment on uh, 15 seconds for coming home lights and 60 seconds for leaving home lights. And uh, for leaving home lights, it uses the fog lights, but you could actually go in and change that so it uses your low beam instead. Um, what else have we got? Daytime running lights. They're on in this car. Allow configuring the daytime running lights via dash display. No. Use fog lights as daytime running lights. No. Again, you could turn that on. A lot of people like that look of having the fog lights on on the car. Don't know whether it's legal or not, but there you go. So lots of options there. Then we've got your exterior lights. Um, lane change turn signal auto flasher that's enabled so that you just tap it and it flashes three times you can change that for anything between one flash and five flashes that's pretty cool actually because i always think four would be nice three's not quite enough for when i tend to indicate so three would be nice turn off rear fog lights when high beams are on um, flash brake lights in emergency stopping is on 
flash hazard lights in emergency stop in we've got that as no but we could change that to yes cornering lights using fog lights is disabled now i'm going to enable that one and we're going to put save so this when you save it it's now coding it to the car okay and that's it done that's how long that took so now when you put the indicator on to turn a corner and you've got the headlights on it's going to put the fog light on on that side so you can see the corner a bit better not bad eh lock in automatic so this is your automatic locks as soon as you move away uh, that's all on yes i'm not going to change that lock in beep and blink that's not easy to say i've tried it about four times before this um, that's where it basically flashes your indicators and beeps the horn whenever you lock or unlock the car we don't want that on it would upset the neighbors um, unlock all doors on the remote so at the moment it's on first press it unlocks the driver's door and all on the second you could just do all on the first press if you find that a little bit annoying uh, mirrors auto fold driver side view mirror um, auto fold passenger side view mirror now you need power folding mirrors for that and we don't have them in this car we've got electric mirrors but we haven't got power folded mirrors then lower passenger side mirror when in reverse gear that's really really handy so you put it in reverse and the mirror just drops down slightly so you've got a better view of the curb when you're parking parking sensors you can change the volume of them you can change whether they beep or not all that kind of stuff all good the trunk or as we call it the boot unlock when the doors are unlocked yes uh, windows and sunroof as you can see there are loads and loads of options there i'm not going to go through them all now but there's plenty of options here what else have we got other mirrors and rear window heaters run for duration of 600 seconds so if you put the heated rear screen or heated mirrors on it's going to run for 600 seconds 10 minutes in old money key specific personalization uh, requires memory seats no that's disabled we don't have it on this car so if you had memory seats and you've got two keys for the car, say I had one and my wife had one, when we unlock the car, uh, it would set the seat for me with my key, it would set the seat for her with her key. That's a bit trick. Uh, enable remote control buttons when ignition's on. Headlight washers if equipped, disabled. You can see that one little thing I've programmed into this. It's just so quick, so easy. If you want to get your hands on one of these, there's a link in the video description which will take you to Amazon. They're 35 quid with a month's use for free. But if you use the code NOTAGURU25 popping up on the screen for you now, that will get you 25% off. So you're going to get one of these for about 26 quid with a month for free. If you want to continue after that, there are loads of different options. You can get one month for 9.99, three months for 19.99, or 12 months for 46.99. For a lot of people, that one month, whenever you need it, it's probably going to be enough but maybe you want the peace of mind that you can jump into any car at any time for a year for the sake of 47 quid it's not the end of the world is it brilliant piece of kit this folks guys don't forget to use that link to amazon that's in the video description and pinned as the top comment to order your carista device and use that promo code notaguru25 when you're in the checkout on amazon and you'll get 25 percent off this really is a superb piece of equipment that I encourage all of you to get if you've got a compatible car. Once again, that compatibility checker link is down there for you too. Hope you enjoy the rest of the videos in this series where we look more into what this thing can do.